Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Gemini. Gemini, this is your monthly messages from Spirit for October 2019. This is an intuitive read. So I'm going to be using messages from Spirit. I'm also using the Goddess Oracle messages from your animal spirit guides and I will be clarifying each of these cards with the Thelema Tarot and at the end of your reading Gemini I will be pulling a postcard from spirit so we have listen coming up here for you thank you spirit all right what does Gemini sun moon and rising sign need to know spirit thank you spirit Gemini. All right, we are ready. We have focused intention. All right. Compassion. Infinite supply. Beautiful. All right. All right, Spirit. What does Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign need to know? Thank you, Spirit. All right, we have beer, beaver spirit, we have dog spirit, and we have parrot spirit. All right, give me just a moment here. Let's go ahead and take a look. We have listen. You have to be willing to listen if you want to re really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. All right. Thank you, Spirit. So we're starting off this reading here with focused intentions keep your unwavering thoughts feelings and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark so i feel for many of you gemini's you are manifesting at this time all right because this definitely i'm seeing the magician in my mind's eye and that is a, your energy as well so very powerful Spirit wants you to know at this time, uh, as long as you have that focused intention, you will make your mark, Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. All right. We have the Devil. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And we have Death. So, with the Devil coming up here, this is the energy of Capricorn. Um, if, there, if you've been feeling limited or restricted or bound to something that you feel like is holding you back now is the time to release those energies in order for you to have that focused intention so you can manifest and co-create your reality this eight of cups just i mean eight of pentacles excuse me tells me about how hard working you are uh you are very goal oriented at this time uh, this is an energy of mastering. Some of you are mastering manifesting. Uh, you're very highly skilled with that. This talks about you being very diligent, disciplined, and well-knowledged about what you're mastering. So, wow, I'm getting a lot of Geminis that are just master uh, magicians here and really manifesting and co-creating what your heart's true desire is. And I feel like whatever you are manifesting right now with the energy of death, this is Scorpio energy, uh, it's going to allow for you to let go, dump any emotional baggage, whatever may have been holding, causing you to feel like you're being held back, uh, bound or restricted, limited to. Uh, you're going to break free. You're going to go through a major transformation here. And it's going to transition you into that new beginning, what you're manifesting. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Geminis. Love it. So we have compassion next. 
and it says release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone again there may be some grudges uh, that need to be let go of uh, I feel like that there is an energy of healing at this time for some of you that are needing a healing within your heart chakra um, this is unconditional love I feel for yourself as well as others thank you spirit and you have a lot Gemini to offer people is what I'm getting as well thank you spirit okay so we have four of wands six of cups and king of wands all right for some of you there could be a healing that is taking place within the home this could have been a, a family situation for others of you uh, when this is we're talking about your stability or security uh, laying that solid foundation I feel like there may be a healing taking place some of you uh, may be purchasing a home for the first time uh, this really talks about getting together with friends and families, maybe having some small uh, get-togethers and celebrations. Uh, for some of you Geminis, you may even be getting ready to get married, is what I'm getting from this. But you know that there's a solid foundation that needs to be laid here that's going to be unshakable, and I see you doing that. I feel for many of you, that's what you're manifesting, what you're working towards. Now you have the Six of Cups. You know, this talks about innocence, playfulness. This talks about letting your inner child shine at this time. That's very important. Not being so serious, okay? It's kind of like having that childlike faith. For some of you, you may be having somebody coming back from your past, from childhood. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. Uh, this could be somebody that you've never met in this lifetime that you that you could be meeting for the first time, but you feel like there's a connection, like you've known this person forever. And that's because you, they are part of your soul family. And they are coming into your life at this time because uh, they're meant to be here, okay? It's, some, it's divinely guided, all right? So this could be somebody maybe helping you. Um, I just received a message just now from Spirit. Some of you may be, uh, maybe one or two of you may be getting together with your childhood sweetheart and getting married. Now we have the King of Wands coming up here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is definitely a powerful and bold energy right here, Gemini. This is really you stepping into your power. Some of you are in leadership roles uh, your role models for others. You have a great deal of inspiration. You have a very bright light that you help others with. I, I feel like you bring clarity to, to people. Um, this is a go-getter energy as well. I feel like whatever you're setting out to do or achieve, whatever goal it might be, you will achieve it. And you're not going to let anything get in your way. This talks about you having that courageous spirit and the self-confidence to go after what you really want. Thank you, spirit. All right, Gemini. So we have infinite supply here. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. Spirit is telling me that you are divinely guided okay um, and you are being taken care of your needs are being met uh, I do feel for some of you you're manifesting because you're wanting more needs to be met but just know uh, you will achieve your goals um, when this infinite supply comes up this is very powerful because I feel like this is talking about the God and Goddess that's within each and every one of you. And this is you really tapping into this energy of knowing the divine that is flowing within you and through you. And this is talking about you know you are taken care of. You know you have what you need. It's almost like a divine understanding is what I'm getting here. Beautiful. Thank you, Spirit.
All right. Temperance. Yes. Page of Cups. The Empress. Love it. All right. So Temperance is the energy of Sagittarius. This talks about you balancing your energy, balancing relationships. This talks about you having self-belief in yourself. Um, I feel for many of you, you are making the, uh, the required adjustments, maybe even making compromises within a situation or maybe with others. Um, you're making sure that you're not overlooking anything at this time as well. With, and I feel this is, this is the spiritual alchemical uh, card right here. So I feel like there's a lot of inner work that's being done as well. Now, the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This talks about you being very sensitive at this time. And when I say sensitive, Gemini, I mean that this is you understanding that psychic energy that is flowing within you and through you. This is you really understanding how magical you are. And uh, it's beautiful. And there's a need for you to listen to your intuition as well, your own inner guidance. Now we have the Empress, and I just love this, especially when it's clarifying the infinite supplied here. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. You know, the Empress represents what you've planted, what you've nurtured, uh, is now growing. There's some type of growth and expansion here. And I feel for many of you, you're going to start to see this growth and expansion coming into your life. What you've put out, it's coming back. And it's very positive. Uh, this is something that can be very long-lasting, especially when we're talking about financial gain or starting a business or turning a project in uh, something that you're doing as a hobby into a um, really money-making idea here. there's It's very promising that you're going to reap the rewards of it. This is reminds me of a time of harvest. This is the time to give birth to new ideas. This is time to go after what your heart's true desire is. Thank you, Spirit. All right. So we have Beaver Spirit. <clears throat> this says, lay a solid foundation. And I definitely see you working towards this. Some of you are already in the process of laying this foundation that's going to be unshakable okay thank you spirit laying a solid foundation five of cups nine of swords and five of pentacles yes okay so we have the number 55 here fives represents challenges and obstacles that we go through okay uh, these are challenges that there are lessons and knowledge to be gained from okay and in knowing this and with this coming up here when it's saying lay a solid foundation this is you choosing to see the opportunities that are still available to you uh, recently you may have went through a tower moment a shake up and that your structure that you had been working, building towards that tower has fallen. Now, Spirit wants you to take a good, deep look, Gemini, as to how it came about. And now, Spirit is saying, this is your time to lay a solid foundation structure. Okay? The Five of Cups, don't get caught up in what has been lost. Uh, disappointment. Choose to see what you can gain from this. The Nine of Swords is that energy of overwhelmed by your emotions or your feelings. This can be anxiety. This can be sleepless nights that could be occurring at this time. And it could have to do with the Five of Pentacles here. A feeling of lack or hardship. All right. But Spirit wants you to know with the hardships that you have had, there is knowledge to take from them and to grow and you have to keep moving forward you're going to come out of this i feel for many of you you're already uh working on laying this solid foundation you're already moving forward for those of you that have been feeling doubt or hesitation it's time to move on and move forward 
now we have dog spirit okay be loyal to what you love and I feel like with this coming up here it's very important for you to let that inner light shine let people know who Gemini is what Gemini is about stand in your truth be loyal to what it is that you want what you're wanting to manifest and co-create in your reality thank you spirits all right we have temperance again the ace of pentacles and the two of swords all right Again, temperance, the energy of Sagittarius. This is you being uh, taking action on really being loyal to who you are and what you love. This is you balancing your energy, believing in yourself, making those required adjustments and compromises in order to have growth and to move forward. Um, you know, you guys are doing a lot of inner work, all right? Uh, spiritual work here is what I'm getting from spirit you are making the effort to be who you are and be loyal to what it is that you're wanting to bring into your life into your situation now with the ace of Pentacles coming through here definitely for many of you you're starting a new business a new project a new job this could be a career change you're doing something that you enjoy doing and spirit says as long as you nurture this seed all right this could be a long-term financial situation for you okay now the two of swords is coming up here there may be a decision that needs to be made here and it's likely Gemini you already know the answer to this decision this could involve more than just you this could involve your family this could involve people outside of your family as well and that may be why you're not wanting to see this situation for what it is and move forward uh, everybody may not agree with you but I have to say this you have to do what's right and what's just for you uh, Gemini um, this is your destiny okay this is your life and if you're not giving yourself 100% you can't help others okay so it is very important for you to be loyal to what you love and what your truth is. I feel like for some of you, this could be a decision relocating to a new job or career or doing something that you truly love. And that means you're going to have to pick up and relocate. Um, if that is the case, I feel it's very promising for you at this time as well. Thank you, spirits. Now we have Parrot Spirit here, okay? This is Watch Your Words. I feel like it's going to be very important for you to be mindful how you uh, maybe conversate to others, especially with compassion and listen coming up here as well. Now, I do feel for many of you, it's important, you know, to really practice what comes out of your mouth it being positive because when you are in this focused intention energy here and you are uh, using that energy to manifest and co-create your reality you want to make sure you're not manifesting anything negative okay and most definitely when watch your words come up here I feel like it's very important to make sure that you're doing positive self-talk positive affirmations or anything that comes out of your mouth in general being a positive instead of a negative. Because what you talk about, what comes out of your mouth, a lot of times creates your reality. Okay? Thank you, Spirit. We have the Two of Wands, King of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Yes. All right, the two of wands. This isn't necessarily being at a crossroads. This is you stepping into your power. Okay, this is accomplishment, achievement, because it doesn't matter which path you choose, which door you choose to walk through. This is you owning it, Gemini. This is you making it your path. 
Okay, so it's beautiful energy. Now we have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. This is your stability and your security. Okay, this is you building up your finances. This is you being very practical and down to earth as well, grounded. This is you being very reliable, uh, very enterprising. Like I said, for many of you, this is what you're working towards. This is what you're manifesting, your stability and your security. Now you have the Knight of Swords. This is your energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is you being very self-assured about what you're taking action on at this time. This is you being very outspoken, speaking your truth, and you being loyal to yourself. Okay, this is you being honest with yourself and letting people know who Gemini is. There may be a need for you to let go of anything that's toxic or maybe uh, toxic relationships or situations at this time as well. But this is you using that power with intent to move forward and speaking your truth. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Gemini, let's see what extra message Spirit has for you, for you from postcards. Postcards from Spirit. I'm sorry, I'm getting time twisted. Thank you, Spirit. Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Dearest you, did you know that when you stop fighting and accept everything exactly as it is right now, miracles start to happen? There is a freedom in this kind of radical acceptance. Let go of unrealistic expectations and see things as they really are, not how you'd like them to be. You'll be surprised at how everything seems to fall into place. When you refuse to accept things, life gets messy, you act messy, and your world stays in chaos, tension, and disarray. But don't try to force the change or manipulate circumstances. Instead, learn about what is in front of you and face it with your eyes fully open. Then you can decide stay or go, sink or swim, move or stay still. Acceptance is the key to freedom and opens the door to the real opportunities waiting to be discovered. Set yourself and others free, loving you so much, always and forever. Yes, and I feel like, Gemini, this talks about you really learning from any challenges that you may have recently experienced or you may be experiencing at this time. Just know that you are being divinely guided and led and really tap into your own inner guidance, that inner well of knowledge that you hold. I love you, Gemini. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Gemini.